everyone, Tracy here. Today I thought I'd do a little card sharing with you all. I've made some more cards, and if you follow my blog, then you've seen these all before, because I usually post them on my blog first. So first I'll start with this one here, and this is a Magnolia image. And I followed um, a tutorial, and I don't want to say the name because I'm not exactly sure if I have the right lady, but I'll post her link below. But anyways, what she was doing was showing you how to color with your Copics, but to look the make them look like they were colored with Distress inks. I've tried using the Distress inks before, and, and uh, I just never got the feel of it. So I thought, I like the look of it. I will try the Copics. And this is my first time I've ever tried it. I never do a trial run. Whatever I practice with, I use. And this is the very first time I did it. So I think it turned out pretty good. It's not as good as hers, of course. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. And I think this is the new Prima paper that I got when I was away. And uh, just inked up some flowers here. Put a little cluster of flowers there. And then the inside, again, my recipe cards that I always use because I need my straight lines. And then the second card is one of these Pure Innocence stamps. And I really like these girls. I found these when I was away on a trip and uh, picked some up. And at first, when they first came out, I wasn't too sure about them because I think the reason is because their hair is so sparse. And maybe it's because I'm having thin, my hair thinning, and <laughs> maybe that's why I don't know. But and I just figured you could color the hair in, and she looks cute. And then I added a cluster of flowers and I added a butterfly. And this butterfly I just got from the dollar store and used some more of my paper packs. And it wasn't until I had this totally finished and then took a picture of it for my blog that I realized I think maybe her dress might look like a granny dress. I'm not sure. But I, I still like the overall look of it. But I like to paper piece their outfits. That's fun to do. And then when I do paper piece, I still do shading with my Copics. Just so it doesn't look um, like you just stuck it on there. It has some shading to it. And then the inside of my card. And you know what? Yeah, I did. I put it on upside down. Can you believe it? So I'm going to, I don't know if I could take it off and flip it over or put another one on top of it. But no worries. There's always a way to fix it. And then this one here is one of the new CC Design stamps, and uh, I really like her. She's so cute, the little mushroom head girl. And I just stamped and then freehand the hello, cut that out, and stamped the letters on it. And this paper here, these hearts in the blue and the pink, they were at the top and the bottom, but they were too high for the card. So I sliced it off, and then I just adhered it to this piece here. And then when I popped her up, I kind of rounded the edges a bit so it more even looks more um, dimensional. And then the inside, I had a leftover, this piece was over here on this uh, full sheet. So when I cut it off, I had some flowers left So um, and the lines. So I figured I don't need a recipe card in here because I can just write it on these lines. And then this card here is one of the Lulla Land stamps, and I really like her. I think she's cute. I found her when I was on our trip also, and I stamped her up and colored her with my Copics. And then these two here, these are the wooden blocks you can get at Michael's. I think they're in the dollar fifty bin. They were, they're really old, and uh, colored those up with my Copics and. Again, I also formed them a bit so they wouldn't be straight. They're more rounded. And a funny story with this girl here is after I was finished, almost finished coloring her, my blue marker fell on her face and left a mark after she was almost totally colored. So I kind of hit it with brown and made it look like a birthmark. And uh, everybody on the blog said it looked fine, but with my... Um, anal tendencies I couldn't let her go so what I did was I stamped her face again and colored it up and then fussy cut it out and I don't know if you could tell but I popped her up I rounded it all up just like the cupcakes and I popped it up so it's uh it's dimensional actually it looks kind of cool I like that and then the inside of the card I had an extra cupcake so I was going to put three here but it just seemed too crowded so I put it on the inside here and then the next card, this was my daughter's 17th birthday card. She just turned 17 the other day, so I made her a birthday card. And she um, wants to take the culinary course when she goes to college. 
and uh, right now she is doing a co-op program through her school and she's doing it at Safeway in the bakery section and they're getting her to decorate cakes and stuff like that. She's never taken a class before so this is all learning on the job kind of thing. So I thought this image here, this is another Lala Land stamp, I thought this was a perfect image for her card and I embossed the background the tag and I inked it a little bit just to um, so you could see the letters a little bit better added some ribbon and then um, stamped this it says the world got a present the day you were born and yeah I wrote in here so I can't really show you but that's I put a tag in there and this card I had made, I just made this one. I know a little different. Those ones are all pretty and girly and here we have a vintage one. But I wanted to use this typewriter stamp and I got this from stamping up. I don't even know how, how long ago I had it. So I stamped it on some of this calligraphy parchment paper because I do some calligraphy. I haven't done it in a while but my husband bought me this really neat old um, parchment paper. So I stamped it on there, rolled it up to look like a scroll. And then I used one of the pen nibs on there. There's postcards back there, so I thought that was fitting that the that the pen nib went on there. And then I like that this paper is type, type word, so that's neat because it goes along with the typewriter. And then the inside. This stamp set also came with these little nib stamps. So I thought that was And then this neat. last card here, this is for a friend that uh, her cat passed away. And if you're an animal lover, then you all know how painful that is. So I thought I'd send her a card in the mail and hopefully that'll lift her spirits a bit. And this is another um, Pure Innocence stamp. And I uh, colored her up with my Copics. Used some of my new paper and I used um, one of the Tim Holtz, I think it's the Fragments, and put a heart paper in there. I don't know if you can see that so well. I'm trying to look through my viewfinder and it looks kind of blurry to me but... <laughs> my eyesight's going and then here's the inside and then I put uh, stamp the appearance pure innocence stamp on there again so there we go there are all my cards that I've been doing the last week or so so thanks for joining me everybody hope you can get some ideas or some layouts from them bye now